Alan family, imagine walking into this masjid on a Friday afternoon. This masjid or any masjid or center or place for Jum'ah to find the parking lot shut down, the doors locked and all of the lights off and the hall empty, pin drop silence, no cell phones, no Jum'ah announcements. Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is your brother Abdurrahman Bashir coming to you from that same hall, which is empty, with the lights off, the doors locked, and the parking lot shut down. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Nahmaduhu, Nasulli ala Rasulihi Kareem, Amma Ba'd. Rabbi Shrahli, Sadri, Wa Yisili, Amri, Wahlu, Lukudatam, Milisani, Yafkahu Kauli. I chose not to stand from the pulpit or with the mihrab behind me to try to give a virtual feeling of Juma. Rather, I chose this shot because I want you to see what I would see. And I see a community missing. This place is our spiritual refuge. This is where we come for spiritual peace, solace, and rescue. This is not the house of Allah, this is the home of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is where the doors were always open, where any and everyone from all walks of life could come and get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that on each side of their shoulder, they also have someone else who is on the same journey. Brothers and sisters, the unimaginable, the unthinkable has happened. We are left without a masjid. We are left without a place to congregate. We, have, we are homeless. We are spiritually home-wrecked and homeless. Without a place to plug in spiritually that we are so used to and accustomed to. And for how long? Who knows? No, brothers and sisters, I'm asking you a question. Who knows? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. If there's one thing that we understand as believers, as the mu'mineen, is that everything that we are going through, why we are going through this, how long we will be going through this for? How long are we going to weather this storm? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one thing we know for sure is that whatever happens to us has already been written. It was meant to happen to us. Why? Has the story of our lives been written this way? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. The why? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Why we are weathering this storm the way we are? Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. Just as He was the one who knows about everything that we have gone through and everything that we are going to weather. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows why. Brothers and, brothers and sisters, as we are weathering this storm out, I would like to remind us about ayah number 155 onwards in Surah Baqarah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us another thing that we know. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقَصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ Allah will indeed, for sure, definitely put us through a test, put us through that bala, put us in that pressure, that stress, that, that anxiety, that uncertainty, whatever is, whatever test that you are going through individually, as a person, as a family, as a community, as a society, as an ummah, 
whatever that bala is, it will happen. Bishay'im min al khawf, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifies the reasons for that bala, it could be fear, uncertainty, and all of the anxiety that that causes. Well, ju'i, hunger, scarcity of supplies, scarcity of food. وَنَقَصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ And a deterioration, a naqs, a fallback in amwal, the economic crisis that is about to unfold, the hurt and pressure that we are feeling. وَالْأَنفُسِ Brothers and sisters, the fact of the matter remains is, the fact of the matter is, many people are going to be getting sick. وَالثَّمَرَاتِ Many people are going to eat into their savings. As we are living in this pandemic, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us about? وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ Give the glad tidings to those who are the sabirin, Those who are the translated as patient ones. But for patience, you need strength. And the external strength to deal with our problems are fed by our internal energy. Allah describes who are those sabirin, the strong ones, the patient ones. They are those people when a calamity befalls them. They say, and we should also say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Property of Allah. We belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are His subjects. We are His servants. We are His belongings. We belong to Him. Wa inna ilayhi raji'un. And we will return back to our Maker. Back to the one who created us. Brothers and sisters, if we are able to internalize what this means, that we belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not going to make your problems go away, but it will help you soften the blow. It will help you, it, it will give you the strength to buckle up during this rough ride, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is pulling the strings. And He's the one who decides. And we are the ones who are deficient. And we are the ones who are vulnerable. Inna lillahi, we belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as we talk about the we right now, I want you to look around. And hopefully, if you are sitting with your family waiting to pray Salatul Dhuhr, the we is y'all. We have a wonderful opportunity to develop our homes, transform our homes into the, into the spiritual fulfillment, a platform as basic as it may be for to recharge our battery. Look, the homes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the buyut of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they serve as an extension of the Kaaba, which is the Baytullah, the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that we don't have a place to congregate, it is important, it is a must, it is an imperative for us as families to start transforming our homes to get that spiritual benefit that we need. And that will start by designating one area of your home. If you have the capacity to remain a place or a spot for prayer. This will remain a place and spot for recitation of the Qur'an.
so that in the confines of our home, as we are bumping elbows and shoulders with our children and our families, that we have that place, that makeshift place of spiritual refuge, that we can keep connected to this home of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through our ibadat, through our tilawat. A family that prays together, stays together. Brothers and sisters, now is the time to start praying together. Making the salawat a part of our daily routine. Start it from now, start it from today. A family that prays together, stays together, and we need to stick together as a family unit, as a community, by reaching out to one another. And the only thing that will get us through this is for us to stick together and for us together to stick to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is in control, the one who is the sustainer, the one who is the maintainer, the one who is the knower of all, the one who is the giver of all, the one who is the protector of all, the one who is the guide of all, the one who is the light of all, the one who is the most merciful, the one who is the most compassionate, the one who is the most forgiving, the one who is most forbearing. We ask Allah, we invoke all of His names and ask Him to protect our spiritual well-being and our physical well-being, ours and that of our families and that of all of our known, our, 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 our loved ones and our friends. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to extend that protection to His home and all of our homes. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to extend His mercy, forgiveness and protection to all of His creation. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to uplift this musibah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the opportunity to do tawbah and to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, oh Allah, you have closed the doors of your home. Oh Allah, oh Allah, please do not let us out to dry. Oh Allah, do not allow us to be lost. Oh Allah, do not allow us to be misguided, oh Allah. Oh Allah, do not, oh Allah, do not allow us to be harmed, oh Allah. Oh Allah, oh Allah, bring us back, oh Allah. Oh Allah, bring us back, oh Allah. Oh Allah, draw your mercy on us. Draw your rahmah on us. Oh Allah, draw your forgiveness on us. Oh Allah, we are sorrowful, oh Allah. Oh Allah, we are sad, oh Allah. Oh Allah, we are repentful, we are regretful. Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Allah, we have our hands out, oh Allah. We have nothing, O oh Allah. We have nothing, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, we have nothing but your mercy, O oh Allah. We have nothing, O oh Allah, but your, but your, but your compassion, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, you are the Almighty. You are the All Greatest. You are the All Merciful. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, forgive us. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, whatever is written for us, O oh Allah, to weather. O oh Allah, grant us comfort and peace through whatever we weather, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, allow us to see the light at the end of the tunnel, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, for all of the setback, O oh Allah, that everyone is going through, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, you are the provider, O oh Allah, we ask you to provide. You are the sustainer, O oh Allah, we ask you to sustain, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, we ask you to keep all of us afloat, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, we ask you, O oh Allah, to keep all of us afloat, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, O oh Allah, grant us strength, grant us sabr, grant us iman, grant us yaqeen, the yaqeen, that inshallah with your will Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and through your permission Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala O oh Allah you can make everything fine O oh Allah please accept this prayer and dua O oh Allah O oh Allah please accept this prayer and dua O oh Allah please accept this prayer and dua O oh Allah we ask you to shower your mercy and blessings upon the soul of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and his family 
and his companions and his children and all of the believers from the men and the women all the way till the day of judgment. O oh Allah, we ask you to fill the void of having a masjid in our lives by filling our home with the presence of angels who can congregate with us and be with us as we do dhikr and as we recite Quran and as we pray and as we fast. Amin. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen.